is Jack and welcome to a new video. Today we've got another Jack here to help me out because of course I, I just stand on and you don't have enough of me. I'm back again. You saw me in the video comparing the iPhone portrait mode and his Canon Rebel T5i. You guys should go watch that video because that video is one of my longest videos in a while and that took me a long time to edit. And make sure to go subscribe to him. But the reason he's here is today to help me out to tell you guys it didn't make any sense about my top five best things to bring with me when I'm traveling. We'll start with a lens. This is the Young Nuo 50 mm lens. I made an entire video on it and I would definitely recommend it because not only is it small and compact, but it shoots at a really nice f1.8 aperture. So when you're shooting in low light, it looks really awesome. And you can get that nice bokeh blurred out background. While it does not have a good minimum focus distance at 1.5 feet, Ooh. it is good <laughs> for catching things that are further away. So if you were to go on a safari, you can catch some wildlife. You can get those pictures of those giraffes. Well, what's nice about this lens specifically, and again, I made a whole video on this, is that it's almost identical to the Canon version. As you can see, it looks almost exactly the same with that nice font and the little red dot. And it produces pretty much the exact same images, but for a price that's only $50, which is I think only half of what Canon charges. So I would definitely recommend this thing. And also all the B-roll you will see in this video was shot with this lens. Next up, a GoPro. This is my GoPro, but then you know they sell a lot of different GoPros. This is the Hero 4 Silver, and I really like it because not only does it have a nice screen on the back, but it shoots 2.7K footage at 30 frames per second or 1080p at 60. And I think you can buy this thing for like 200 bucks now, refurbished or maybe even new on Amazon. I know I bought this for $400. $200 is a great deal. And then I like to carry around this little yellow floaty thing because this is nice for when I'm vlogging. Plus, if I ever drop this thing in the water, it does float for the camera. So if I'm like on a boat or something, like when I was water skiing, I was using this. And if I had dropped it, it would have just bobbed right in the water. And it's super easy to see because it's yellow. Unlike some of these little floaty bobber things that are black and totally blend in. And I also have the Hero 4 Session, which is even smaller and less expensive. So also really good for travel. But if you're shooting on a big thing like a DSLR, a mirrorless, or something where you're going to be vlogging, what I wouldn't recommend bringing is something like a Gorilla Pod because those things take up a ton of space and they're so expensive. So what we have here is the Manfrotto Pixie, which Jack also made another video on that also has a lot of views and I loved it. But I really, really like this thing. This thing was only 30 bucks. And as you can see, you could easily hold this as a handle grip or you can just push out the lens and quickly use it as a tripod. Also, this has a nice ball head on it and really just feels super, super premium. This just feels like a really professional and premium thing. It can also be really good if you use to vlog with a GoPro on this. It can attach to the Manfrotto Pixie and it would look pretty good. The only problem is though, this thing won't work with a GoPro unless you have a tripod mount. But as for working with your phone, I would recommend picking up one of these things. I put this in one of my old tech under $5 videos. Basically what this is, I think I got this for like 79 cents off eBay. This, as you can probably tell, just looks like the end of a selfie stick. It's a tripod mount for your phone. So you just kind of screw this in and put it in there. Nice, quick vlogging setup. And I have to admit, when you're out vlogging, sometimes you don't want to bring your big camera. So even something like this actually provides some pretty high quality footage. Uh oh, you're getting a call. Oh, it's mama. Hello? Mom, hello? Yeah. Hello? Mom. Okay. Yes. What? Yeah. Cool. Okay. Yeah, cool. It's fine. Love you. Okay. 10 minutes. We got 10 minutes, guys. Come on, come on. Do as fast as we possibly can. Next up, if you are going to be bringing a big DSLR or even if you're just using your phone, Piece. Oh, nope. I would definitely recommend picking up some of these glass lens filters. This one's one of these skylight Hoya ones. Oh, I wonder how this would look. Uh, tell me in the comments how that looks. Is it better or worse? But this thing is supposed to reduce glare. I really like it. And then this is just a regular UV filter that'll fit on my 18 55 millimeter lens. And it looks like on this one, it has a slight discoloration that could work as a cool filter on any oh, video. I like that word. But the real reason I like to carry these things around is because they're awesome for protecting your lens. See, when I'm out vlogging, I'm carrying my camera around and running around. And if I accidentally drop something, which I really try not to do. Right, mom? But when I do drop something, I want to be prepared. So I like to carry around things like these because if I crack a lens filter like this, I'll be down maybe $5. But if I crack my entire lens, that's a big problem. Next up, we have something I almost forgot, but it's actually one of my favorite parts of every vlog, and that is the drone. So I use the DJI Mavic Pro because not only does it give me 4K footage, but it's super compact. It's just as compact as the Spark. In fact, side by side, the Spark actually looks a little bit bigger because while the overall area might be bigger. This is tall and skinny while the spark is a big square. I love this thing because it's super easy to carry around and the footage I get from it is amazing. Which would make sense considering this drone is $1,000. And that's the only thing I really don't like about it because when I'm flying it, I want to have as much fun with it as I can and when I'm flying it in the wild, I want to be able to fly it where I can't really see it. But I'm not usually able to do that because 
was. As much as I do trust all of its landing gear and sensors, if I lost this thing, I would be down $1,000. That's more expensive than my camera, my lens, but whatever. You get the point. $1,000 is a lot of money. And the final thing I want to talk about today is this. This is a dead cat. So what this does is you put... Okay. Okay, before you comment why is Jack carrying around dead pets, this is not a real dead cat. This is just like, I guess I'll just call it a furry wind muff. You put this on a microphone and then you can get high quality audio even in the wind. So I guess this kind of protects from the wind. Ah, oh, there's a hair on my face. But it's okay, because this thing not only is a nice fidget, but it really helps with your audio. And in addition, it can be used to sweep the floors, you know. <laughs> so I'll make wind noises with my mouth while Jack is trying to talk and we'll see how it sounds. So right now Jack is making wind noises and it's probably pretty annoying. All right, let's try it again with this thing on. So now the wind muffler is on and it probably sounds a lot better, but Jack is still pretty annoying. The only reason I don't permanently put it on is because it takes up a lot more space and makes the mic a lot bigger. I don't know if you guys can see it right now, but it's kind of in the video. See how big that is? Guys, that is pretty much it for this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like. Also, comment down below what you guys want to see for my next video. And go subscribe to Jack Sun Goodman. It's Jack Sun Goodman, we're calling it. Because we don't want it to get confusing. Alright, guys, I'll see you next time. I'm Jack. Nope, I'm Jack. Nope, I'm Peace.